Hey everybody, it's Missy back with another layout process video. This one's for the Hip Kit Club and I'm using the 2015 September Hip Kits. This is my third layout for the month using these kits and I'm also using one of the cut files from the August cut file set designed by Kim Watson. And if you're a registered member over on the Hip Kit Club website, you can have access to these free cut files every month. So I cut a bunch of them out in several of the pattern papers and I'm going to arrange them on the background. And I'm starting with some white cardstock and this really cute Dear Lizzie heart paper. It's white with little yellow hearts. And I'm just going to sort of make it a background element. And I'm going to put it in the center of this white cardstock and then I'm going to jazz it all up with some gesso. And my picture has a lot of yellow in it. My daughter's shirt is yellow and so I wanted to make yellow a predominant feature in this layout. And I love these papers all mixed together. <coughs> Excuse me. All mixed together. I love the blues and the pops of yellow in that Amy Tangerine flower paper. So I'm just taking some white gesso and an old card here and smearing it everywhere. And then this is an old <laughs> A uh, homemade stencil that I made a long time ago on black cardstock and as you can see I've cut part of it off and I've used it several times and it's just random circles and I pulled out the yellow dilutions paint from last month's color kit and I'm just using my little mini ink blending tool to smudge some yellow circles on the background and I love this paint because it dries really fast and it's really bold and pretty and a little bit goes a long way I'm just dabbing it out of the lid and uh, I think this paint will probably expire <laughs> before I run out of it. I don't even know if that is possible, but um, I don't see myself running out of any of this Dilutions paint probably forever. And so I'm going to wind up covering a lot of these circles, but I wanted to go ahead and get the base coat of all this yellow down first. And so next I'm going to take this yellow paint dabber and that came in our May kits a few months ago and it's a little bit lighter than the Dilutions and I'm just trying to get a couple of different hues of yellow going on in the background and I'm just dabbing it onto some plastic and spritzing it with water and doing the packaging technique just to get some messy yellow splotches going on. And now I'm going to play around with these circles. And they're just cute little circles with hearts in the middle. And um, I'm going to try to figure out where I want to put them. And I recommend checking out the cut files if you have a, a, a die cutting machine. Because I really didn't have an idea um, of what I wanted to do for the design of this page. And then when I saw the cut files... It, it made it really easy. I just cut several of them in different papers and different sizes and you know I think it takes the place of having to do a bunch of layers or come up with an idea. I mean I just cut these circles out and I'm just kind of putting them you know in a random spot on the background and voila there you go you have a background. So when in doubt always check out the die cuts because I think that they can help you take a whole different direction with a layout than you know you would have never thought otherwise and I really like how this turned out. Now I took some time and I did some stitching around all the edges of those circles and the small circles are really messy because I am definitely not a sewing expert. Um, I can sew okay in circles if they're really big but those little circles forget about it but I'm cool with that because it just you know adds to the homemade aspect of it. And now I'm just going to use this same stencil and my black sharpie and I'm just going to add some small black circles around the page just to kind of echo the black that is in that Amy Tan paper. And I uh, just wanted some some more circles back there. And now I'm going to come in with some of the Project Life cards and I love getting the Project Life kits because I think they make excellent layers and they're always the perfect color because they are custom made to match each kit each month and so they match perfectly. I'm going to layer in that tag. I didn't really think that I would use the phrase on it since life is short, don't be lazy. And I thought, well, I think I'm just going to use it as a layering piece instead. 
So now is where I'm going to come in with my favorite parts of these kits, and it's the rub-ons. Because in one of the kits, we got the Amy Tan rub-ons, and in one of the other kits, we got the Dear Lizzie. And I'm going to combine... No, no, never mind. These are going to be just the uh, Dear Lizzie documentary ones. I used most of the Amy Tan ones on my first layout. And I love these cursive words. And it really got me excited at this point because the words kind of looked f looked a little curved. Sorry about the shaking there. My camera arm is attached to my desk and uh, <laughs> it's like an earthquake when I'm doing rub-ons. Sorry about that. But the words looked curved and they looked like they fit around these circles perfectly, especially that hello. And um, I thought, you know, I'm going to take all these words and kind of put them in various parts around the page on an angle there and I like how that turned out and I am going to use the one that says golden that's there on the right side of my page um, that's actually from the Amy Tan but the yellow matches perfectly and so it's gonna it's gonna come in there soon and these embellishments are really fun these are from Amy Tan and um, I love the royal blue mixed in it's just it's just pretty and it's it doesn't seem to be a popular color in a lot of releases that I have anyway, and so it's really cool to see that that royal blue mixed in. And I'm going to use that cute little bouquet of flowers right there. And I play around with that really part, and I wind up using it later. And I do use this pretty wood veneer. I believe that's freckled fawn. It's such a pretty font too. I really love when there's wood veneer in our kits because just really to me it just really sets off a layout now the this golden word wasn't really curved and I wanted it to curve underneath this uh, circle so I just cut it so I could kind of make it curved and here comes the shaky earthquake again with my shaky camera sometimes I don't realize what I'm doing <laughs> that I'm shaking the whole desk And I'm really liking how this is turning out. Um, I was very, very happy about the cut files. I think it just really makes the background super fun. And this fancy uh, rub-on, there's stripes behind the word fancy, and it's in the shape of a circle, and it fit perfectly inside that circle that I traced. I was like, it has to go there. There's just no way around it. It fits perfectly. I'm going to add that little gold arrow frame, and then I did add a little bit of thread. I didn't go thread crazy in this layout. I know, that's a big shocker, right? Um, I do pop up my picture with some pop dots to give it a little bit of dimension. And then I am going to use one of those cute little wood chips. I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with those at first. And I do have to take away some of those um, pop dots that I used to get that. Because they're pretty thick, the wood chips there. But I am going to use it as a layering piece right there. And... Now I'm going to do some embossing with this. At first I take the yellow paint dabber and give it a little coat of yellow. And my first in, um, inclination was to just emboss parts of it, but I wound up embossing pretty much all of it. So you can't really see any of the yellow behind it. But that's okay because it's shiny gold and it still looks really pretty. And this is just some embossing powder that I have on my stash. And I just decided to add some sparkle to this layout. And so I... Uh, made this word nice and sparkly there and that took no time at all so if you want to jazz up something try heat embossing because it's really fun and it's it's fairly easy yeah I sat there and kind of <laughs> turned it all kinds of different ways for a few minutes because it was just glitter glittering in the glittering that's not a word glimmering in the light and I just kept tossing and turning it because I wanted to see it shimmer. It's so pretty. Glittering. Hmm. I have to make that a word. I like it. And I'm going to take these cute little adhesive wood circles and place a few around the page. I guess they could be like wood buttons. Not quite sure. I am going to use this little piece from the Crate Paper Wonder chipboard sheet, and it says, My Darling, and there is shiny gold around the edges, which makes it perfect. 
and this little heart is white and shiny gold stripes and then I'm going to take these cute little thickers that come in I can't remember which kit but they are shiny gold hearts and I just pick out two R's for my daughter's initial and then I'm going to come in with these cute little Amy Tan enamel hearts and put a few of them on the page You know, it really makes this fun whenever you have a photo that really matches the collections or the kits just perfectly. Because um, I've, I've lucked out and had a couple of pictures, in, especially in my very first layout for the month, where my daughter had on a royal blue shirt. And so it matched this collection perfectly. And then now on this one, she's got a bright yellow shirt on. And so I think it just really pulls out the colors in the papers and the embellishments. And um, just, I love when that happens. You know, when you see a collection and you, and you say to yourself, I have the perfect picture for that. Or sometimes you go and take the picture after the fact because you know it will match. I know I, I'm not the only, I have to not be the only one that's done that before, right? The life of a scrapbooker. The things we do to get the perfect colors and the perfect pages and the perfect papers and... It's just funny how we do things. So I'm just going to add in my journaling, and I think it's getting close to being finished here. I didn't really know where to put the journaling, so I just decided to put it there at the bottom. And then I'm going to add in my date stamp right under it. And I think that's going to wrap it up. Make sure you check out hipkitclub.net if you would like to see more of these kits. Here's my final page. I'm really excited about how it turned out. It was really fun to put together, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Please let me know if you have any questions about any of these products or about any of the kits, and I hope you will join me again next time, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for joining me, and have a great day.